If you guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Let me in. everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have the most anticipated wwe elite action figure review of the entire year we're talking about the wwe elite series 77 Fiend Bray Wyatt. I'm so excited for this figure. I think everybody's excited for it. I think this is definitely one of the most anticipated elite action figures from Mattel of all time. You could put it up there with so many different figures, but I think this one does take the cake. Such a unique character. Such a unique build. I'm excited for it, guys. You know, I don't have the rest of Elite Series 77 in my possession just yet, but I do have two of the Elite 77 Fiend Bray Wyatt, and we are going to review this, and we'll continue the rest of the review series once we get the rest of them in here. But for now let's dive into elite 77 bray white let's shut the hell up and dive into this fiend review of course you do have your front viewing window here you guys will notice that the box has a special SummerSlam style wave going on because this is just like last year with the elite 68 wave the entire wave is SummerSlam theme spinning it to the right we do have a beautiful image of the fiend here looking like a freak elite like look, just just look at him beautiful imagery right there of the fiend bray wyatt if we spin it to the right you do have some other stuff going on you got a little bio read if you want to read it. You can pause it now. You have the rest of the figures in the wave. Again, they are SummerSlam themed. Another picture of the Bray Wyatt Fiend there. On the other side of the box, we do have another beautiful image of the Fiend when he debuted versus Finn Balor at SummerSlam. And that is pretty much it for the packaging of this Fiend Bray Wyatt, guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let him in. And here is the Fiend Bray Wyatt out of its packaging, guys. Looking very fantastic. I'm very impressed with what I've gotten so far out of this figure. And, you know, usually we do our two-in-one figure reviews. Usually we're looking at two different figures. And today we're only looking at the Fiend Bray Wyatt. I figured, you know, giving him his own review. I think it's very fitting to give the Fiend his own review. You know, two-in-one. I don't have another figure of Elite 77 here anyway, so I really couldn't do two-in-one. So we're just going to knock the Fiend out by himself. So you guys know how the reviews work. We're going to run through the accessories that comes with the Fiend first, and then after that, we will take a look into the Fiend himself. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and dive into the Fiend's accessories. So diving into the Fiend's accessories, guys, you will see here that he does come with his headlamp and two interchangeable hands. That is all he comes with. You know, I think a lot of people did want his entrance coat. We are going to take a look at what some entrance coats look like from Mattel on the Fiend figure. Just in case you guys pick up the Fiend, you want to try on different coats, different accessories from different figures. We are going to look at that here today, but let's dive in to this right here the Bray Wyatt headlamp holy crap guys when he first released this I think they had to even make SummerSlam PG-13 just for this headlamp alone and you guys can see here I will bring up a comparison shot on the left side of your screen that way we can dive into the the necessary comparisons between the two but I think this is so unique whoever decided to create this like I know I think Tom Savini is the one who designed it and created it for for Bray Wyatt but whoever came up with the idea to use Bray Wyatt's severed head to make it into a new lantern using his hair and his eyes stitched out and stuff like that. That is just sickening to look at. It's very graphic. It looks amazing. The real life lamp in person looks amazing. The lantern looks amazing. You get some highlight yellow going on. The dread hair going all the way around. Of course, it doesn't have all the details that you may want to see, but I still think it's an epic accessory. This is what it looks like on the bottom. I guess you can actually put a light up inside there maybe. Is that why there's a hole right there? I'm not exactly sure or maybe it's to hold like stick his hand up in there i'm not exactly sure why that's there but you could easily you know hand paint this thing put some details on it and make it look even better than it already does but i really i think it's really awesome that mattel decided to include that they easily could have skipped over it and then he of course does have his hurt and heel gloves with the mic holding hands out of the packaging i think these have pretty good sculpt work they look like they actually do have the stitching and leather stuff going on in the gloves these aren't just regular hand molds painted these are actually molded 
They actually have some stitching going on and like some lifts going on where the gloves are actually stitched. So that is beautiful. No paint chipping or anything, so that's great. And then out of the packaging, he does come with his signature hurt heel hands. You guys know what I'm talking about, how he's posed in the packaging. But as far as accessories, that is pretty much it for the Fiend Bray Wyatt. So now that we've covered his accessories, let's go ahead and dive into the Fiend himself. So diving into the Fiend himself, guys, bringing it in. Let's go ahead and get our little comparison shot that we like to always do. And taking a look at it, I think it looks pretty good. I'm actually pretty impressed with this sculpt. I think they did a lot of great things. I do want to get in here and get all of these details going because I want you guys to understand all the sculpt that went into this. I'm not sure who the lead sculptor is over at Mattel, but whoever it is did an absolutely fantastic job. I think it looks really, really good. You got all the paint detail going in there, all the different layerings. You got the eyes painted great, the teeth, and I think they did apply true effects technology to this head sculpt. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure they did, and my God, does it look good. All this sculpt work, all that paint detail and stuff, I did notice where some people were having some trouble with chipping on their mask, like they were getting like black speckles and stuff on their mask. That does not seem to be the case with mine. You do have silver details over the buttons over there. The skin tone and the coloring all around looks great. Lifting up the hair, they even have the straps all the way around the head. You have the buckles in there, dry brushed in silver. On this side, you still have the same thing. They did a really good job. Maybe a little space right there, but not, not the biggest deal, especially when the hair does cover it. Now, one thing I will say about this head sculpt is I feel that the hair may be a little bit too dark. I feel like maybe it could be a little bit more golden or, or blonde, if you will. I don't think I'm going to deduct any football points. I still think it looks really, really good. Maybe a touch more gold. I may try dry brushing some gold on there on action figure surgery or something like that just to get it in there and see what it looks like. I think it may make the figure look better. But taking a little zoom out, guys, this is a brand new torso mold, if I'm not mistaken. It looks really good. I think that it really captures the girth that Bray Wyatt got. He lost some fat. He put on some muscle. And I think this torso does a really good job of capturing that. You got all the tattoo work going around his big chest tat. I think it's supposed to come out here and cover some of this even more, but I don't think they could quite replicate it. It is missing the praying hands, but I don't think he had the praying hands when he first debuted. This is supposed to be the Fiend's debut in WWE, so if you guys are wondering why the praying hands are missing from the singlet, that is the reason why he didn't wear that until later. Spinning it around, you still get you get plenty of tattoo deco going on. I actually got deco right that time. Continued into the neck. I think even if you pop the head sculpt off, they even have the tattoo all the way up onto the back of his head and neck area, so that is really awesome by Mattel to get all those details in there. Spinning him back around, one thing on the crotch is his belt is not sculpted, which is something I would have loved to seen. I would have loved to seen a sculpted belt on here instead of it just painted, but I am glad they actually put it on there. I think the render image of the figure did not even have the belt on there, so that is nice. And another thing I noticed is that this crotch piece is actually a matte color. It's like a, they sprayed it with matte instead of shiny, like what's going on on the legs, if you guys can see that. This part, the crotch is obviously matte, and then the legs are a shiny color, and the red and black stripes look really good. I love the pocket details going on. These are brand new leg molds that we are getting right here, and he is on ball joints if anybody was wondering, so if you guys wanted to do a leg swap or do some crazy customization or anything like that, you are able to do so. Now, one thing I do want to mention is out of the packaging, I actually ended up having to open both. I had to open this one. This one had like a defect with the shoulder. Now, you guys will notice that the shoulders go up and down like this. This shoulder right here on that figure in the packaging was stuck like this. I tried heating it up. I tried putting water on it. It would not go down, and when I would try to push it back up, the arm would get really loose and fall off. This one does not have this problem. This one's really nice, but that's something to take note of. I'm very thankful that I ordered two of them because if I didn't, I would be really pissed off because my shoulder would be stuck. This one's perfect, so maybe that was just a one-off, but that's something to take note of. I think it's something to do with the way they package it because they do have this clear rubber band going around his arms like this, and it's like locked into place. I don't know if that like got it all stiffy-liffy, but it is something to take note of. I was really upset with that when I removed that out of there. I'm very glad I got two of them. I did have to open both of them, which sucks, but I do have another one on the way, so maybe I can keep that one in the packaging. One thing we do want to get into, guys, is his arms, because when they first showed off Bray Wyatt, he was going to come with his regular Bray Wyatt skinny arms, which we are going to compare. These are actually upgraded to the Luke Harper arm mold, which look much better. They're longer, they have a little bit more beef to them, and they make the proportions of the figure look a lot better, in my personal opinion. You guys can kind of see what we got going on. If you guys want to see the articulation of this torso, he does have a really good ab crunch and a really good back crunch, so I'm really impressed with this. It's not loose at all. It feels really tight. The waist is really tight. I'm very happy with this Bray Wyatt so far. He is on ball joints like we said, so he can get in all the poses you need him to. Going down into the boots, I don't think he quite had the boot covers at this juncture, or he might have. They just didn't put it on there, but he does have 
the red boot details going on. I don't think they left anything off of this thing. I could be wrong about that. But for the moment, I, I am very satisfied with this Bray Wyatt, man. This Fiend figure is badass. I'm very, very satisfied with it so far. But now that we've covered the Fiend himself, guys, let's dive into some Bray Wyatt Elite figure comparisons. So for your Bray Wyatt Elite figure comparisons, guys, we do have the Elite 77 in the middle. We have the Elite 54 over here on your right. And then we have my god-awful Fiend custom on the left that I cannot wait to chunk into the yard because I hate this figure so damn much. But comparing these two, I do want to take off this jacket. We are going to put this jacket onto the Fiend to see what he looks like. But I do want to get a good comparison here because this is kind of what I was going for. I did use a Rhino Torso on this custom to give it the beefier mold. You guys can kind of see the comparison here. I did use the Luke Harper arms that Mattel ended up using or biceps I should say I think these are I think these are either rhino biceps or Luke Harper biceps but I did add the the more tattoos on there I did put sting legs on here which are very similar to the legs that Mattel used I put some sting boots on there as well which are similar to the ones the fiend was wearing and just as far as head sculpts go I don't even think it's close Mattel crushes mine and I I really don't know what to do with this thing this is such a garbage piece and it's so loosey-goosey get it out of my face now, comparing it to the Elite 54 Bray Wyatt, it seems the Fiend is a little bit shorter there, so I don't know what that's about. Bray Wyatt is supposed to be 6'4", I think, or 6'3", but there is your comparison right there. And now that we've done that, guys, I do want to put this Sting coat on here. This is the Defining Moment Sting coat, and I think this is going to make the figure look super badass once we get this on here. Again, not completely accurate, but I still think it looks badass, and oh yeah, Brad, that looks sick. I think that works. I think it totally works. Again, it's not completely perfect perfect or accurate, but I still think it gets the job done. I mean, that looks mean, bro. That looks sick as shit. Do a little 360 spin. That is good-ish right there. I don't think you can beat that. And then I also wanted to take a look at what he would look like up next to the Wyatt cult. There's Aleister Black right there. Got Luke Harper. Got Eric Rowan. And here's the Fiend up next to the rest of the Wyatt cult over on Vindication. I don't know why the hell the lights are drowning every damn thing out, but that pretty much does it for your Bray Wyatt Elite Figure comparisons and Sting Jacket look. Look, look, whatever the hell. But I think that about does it for the Elite Series 77 Fiend Bray Wyatt review, guys. Again, if you would like to pick this thing up, I think it is on back order right now. I think it's on eBay, but as soon as the pre-order goes up, stay tuned to Instagram, stay tuned to social media on Ringside Collectibles, because they will be posting when it is back in stock. You can use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. If you want to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, the Fiend is very sought after, so it is going to be challenging to get there. So as soon as this thing goes up for pre-order, guys, you you definitely want to put it in so that you can make sure you get your spot to pick up this Fiend Elite 77 Bray Wyatt. My overall impressions of the figure is super badass, man. I mean, there is no doubt about it that this figure is going to be on everybody's top five figures of the year, top ten figures of the year, best figures of the year. This Fiend Bray Wyatt figure is absolutely on there, and if you say it's not on there, I think you're freaking lying, man, because this thing is a beauty. I mean, everything about it is just shit. The details, the articulation, it feels good in the hand, which are probably the biggest things for me, and I literally don't have any cons with it, man. I really, I can't think of any cons. Maybe a lack of jacket or accessories, and possibly the hair color, but overall, an amazing figure, and shout out to Mattel for the amazing figure, man. They did an outstanding job on it, and they should definitely be proud of themselves. But anyways, guys, that does it for the Fiend review. Let me know what you think of the Fiend down in the comment section below. Did you get your own Fiend figure? Use promo code MDTOYS at ringsidecollectibles.com. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Let him in. Dick.